This guy is one of the best offensive players in Madden 22. Civil completely changed the game this year with his absurdly high-powered offense that features maybe the best one-play touchdown we've ever seen. And he used it to knock off pro player after pro player in real tournaments with real money on the line. And since my goal is to teach you guys the game of Madden to the very best of my ability, I DM Civil to see if it was okay if I shared all the secrets of his insane offense with you guys. And like the amazing friend he is, of course he said yes, and that's why in this video, we're going over how Civil runs the most explosive offense in Madden 22. When it comes to personnel, Civil always uses a fast quarterback because as you'll soon see, he loves getting outside the pocket to both buy time for deep routes to develop and to always have the threat of scrambling with the quarterback. When it comes to his receivers, Civil of course wants the fastest players possible, but at a very minimum, you ideally want at least one player who has a deep route running rating of at least 90. Now when it comes to abilities, Civil is currently using both Passy Delete and Escape Artist in Mutt, and while Escape Artist isn't required, you absolutely want to have a passing ability like Set Feet Lead, Passy Delete, or Gunslinger on your quarterback because those abilities will give you a little extra velocity on your throws to help you get the ball to your receivers as fast as possible. So based on the requirements of one, having a fast quarterback, and two, having a passing ability on the quarterback, then the best QB options for Rex players will be Kyler Murray, Josh Allen, and Russell Wilson, although you could also make this scheme more work with Justin Herbert and Aaron Rodgers as well. And if you play Mutt and you choose not to use Escape Artist, then Civil recommends adding abilities like Hot Rod Master, Slot Apprentice, Backfield Master, or Deep Out Elite. When Civil first started building his new offense, he had three main requirements. Number one, it had to be in a formation where you could block the tight end because in Madden 22, running back blocking is abysmal. Number two, it must have a reliable short yardage play, especially for down near the goal line where it gets significantly tougher to score. And number three, it must have a reliable reliable one play touchdown that takes the top off the defense and in order for the opponent to guard it, it basically guarantees that something is open underneath. With these requirements in mind, Civil built a scheme that centers around four main setups and while each one of these setups is decent on their own, when used together, they form an offensive attack that even the best pro players in the world struggle to stop. Civil runs his offense out of the gun bunch tight end formation, which is a compressed set that is extremely difficult to blitz because on one side you can block both the tight end and running back and on the other side, blitzers will have to fight through the traffic caused by the receivers who are all bunched together. The formation is also unique because its compressed nature means that every receiver and the tight end are all threats to potentially run deep crossers and corner routes to either sideline, making it extremely difficult to guard on defense. You can find the gun bunch tight end formation in five different playbooks, but Civil uses the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, and as you'll soon see, this is the only playbook that will allow you to unlock the true power of this ridiculous offensive skill. So with that framework established, we're ready to start learning just how Civil runs his explosive offense that took the pro scene by storm in Madden 22. And as a quick reminder guys, if you enjoy these breakdowns of the top pro Madden schemes and want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much guys, and let's get started. So for setup number one, we're looking at stock PA boot over, and while some people stopped using this setup when tight end delay fades got completely patched to hell, it's still one of the best setups in the entire game. All Civil does does before the snap is block the tight end, and then after the snap, he lets his quarterback finish the play action animation before starting to roll outside the pocket. From there, he has four amazing options with his three receivers at three different depths down the field, plus he has the option to scramble with the quarterback. You can see just how good stock PA boot over is in Civil's game versus the pro player Noah up next, who's one of the best Madden players in the world and earned himself $75,000 when he won this year's MCS Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament. On this play, Noah tried a user rush to contain the QB rollout, but Civil was able to swerve around him and hit his wide open receiver on the crossing route. From there, he just had to throw on a couple moves and he was able to take it all the way for the touchdown. Now there is one extra wrinkle Civil uses when it comes to this drag route, and this is what truly takes stock PA boot over to the next level. If the user or a zone defender is playing the flat to guard both the drag route and the QB scramble, Civil playmakers his receiver upfield by pressing up on the right stick to force the user into picking one or the other. This takes some practice to truly master, but it can make all the difference between the play resulting in a solid gain and being absolutely bagged. Moving on to setup number two that Civil uses, we're looking at the play triple 
out and you can only find this in the Chiefs playbook. Now, if you're not in the Chiefs playbook, you can do a sort of similar setup with curl flat corner, but trust me when I say that triple out is the play you should be using. What makes triple out so powerful is that once Civil already has his opponent's head spinning with trying to figure out how to guard PA boot over and all those receiving threats along the sideline, he completely flips the field with a bomb that goes to the other sideline. The only adjustments he makes are to put the middle receiver on a streak, put the outside receiver on a slant, and if he needs a little bit of extra time, block the tight end. After the snap, he rolls out to the side of the deep corner route and then launches it to bomb man coverage, cover two, and cover four drop. You can see just how effective triple out can be in Civil's game versus the pro player too tenacious when they played for a spot in the top 32 of the MCS Ultimate Wildcard Tournament. You can tell that too tenacious had no clue that this bomb was even possible because he only had a single high safety and was usering on the complete opposite side of the field, leaving the receiver on the deep corner route absurdly open and of course resulting in the easy touchdown. Now for setup number three, we're going to look at Civil's favorite short yardage play, which is going to be the speed option in the formation pistol wing flex close, which is also only in the Chiefs playbook. This play is specifically for those short goal line situations where Civil needs to punch the ball in, but wants to keep his opponent unsure about what play might be coming. If his opponent tries to gap shoot straight up the middle, then he continues to run the option like normal, and in that case, it comes down to reading the pitch key, who is identified pre-snap with a P icon above his head. If the defender comes in at the quarterback, then Civil pitches it to the running back and sometimes even adds in a little hurdle before the pitch to help get the ball higher and reduce the chance of it getting swatted down by a defender. The real fun part of this play, however, comes when the user doesn't try to gap shoot up the middle. In that case, Civil immediately journals upfield with his quarterback and usually walks right into the end zone. And this isn't just a gimmick play to use against inferior opponents, because when Civil faced too tenacious in the MCS Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament with a top 24 spot on the line, he ran this exact play and journaled right into the end zone to take a fourth quarter lead. And now for setup number four, and this is the setup that elevates this entire scheme into the most explosive offense in Madden 22. We are back in PA boot over, but this time we're looking at the everything bomb. If you've watched any of Civil's videos from Madden 22, you'll see him scoring humongous touchdowns with this setup over and over and over and over again. The adjustments Civil uses are to block the tight end, put the running back on a wheel route, put the middle receiver on a streak, and put the inside receiver on an out route. There's also an alternate setup where he motions out the inside receiver and puts him on a deep in route, but regardless of which setup Civil uses, most of the time, it's just a matter of getting outside the pocket and then chucking it downfield to the deep post for the enormous one-play touchdown. If his opponent is trying to guard the deep post with their user, that's where Civil can utilize the deep in route or throw to the running back on the wheel route, which will get over any flat zone his opponent puts on the field. More often than not, however, the user doesn't get back fast enough, and then it's just a matter of seeing how far his QB can throw it. The everything bomb is quite simply the best one-play touchdown in Madden 22, and even top pro players like Decroft, Astro, and Too Tenacious have all fell victim to it. And while the everything bomb is the best play in Madden, there are so many other extremely powerful plays that you could add to your arsenal, so if you want to learn more about those, definitely check out my video on the top 5 most overpowered plays in Madden 22.